faculty and fellow students as commencement speakers. And now I'm pleased to call upon Benjamin Sievers, representing the undergraduate students. Congratulating all students who are undergraduating today. <laughs> so, here we go. This auditorium is filled with friends, family, and faculty who have all shared in the support of this graduating class. We are very thankful for all of your help. It is truly remarkable the amount of high quality art and production that has exploded out of these people seated in front of me. Many of us have embraced procrastination in a way that has developed intense studio practices. <laughs> I can only imagine the uncompromising quality of our work to come when we are not completely sleep deprived. On the other side of the spectrum, are the numerous overachievers who planned their projects and followed through on schedule. <laughs> Today, we celebrate the entire range of work ethics that have manifested here <laughs> in our time at CCAC. <laughs> that there has been a collective effort to maintain high levels of craftsmanship despite administrative changes. And this should be comforting that these young people know how to create with integrity and in a creative drive that will help us offset the large amount of cheap crap that has saturated our culture and flooded our landfills. As we move on into our careers, we have a concrete responsibility to re-evaluate the hierarchies created by the art world and corporate industries. I think that those do-it-yourself punk kids are onto something. <laughs> the fact that environmental stewardship has been absorbed and sold back to us as a marketing trend is a sign that we can no longer trust the progression of our economy. We have the power to lead by example. There are numerous artist communities here in the Bay Area that are successfully making the transition to sustainable ways of life. I encourage each one of you now to look deep into your heart for your motivation. Forget about your debt. For, forget about money in general. <laughs> Focus on that little glowing flame inside of you. That's your spirit. <laughs> and art is a personal way to strengthen that little flame. And these days, we need a strong spirit more than ever. The Industrial Revolution ushered us into an unnatural paradigm that disconnected us from our God-given environment. Competition and classism have fostered hostilities that continue to disrupt the traditional human values of compassion and trust. I advise, I advise you to make each day a struggle to retain your humanity and 
to see the humanity in others. Patience, sharing, active listening. These are all useful skills to take with us out into the real world, where our psyches are under constant attack by advertisements and commercials, bent on desensitizing us into multiple pawns in the hands of executives and politicians. Essentially, our generation has been forced to inherit and hopefully redirect an increasingly globalized society that is fundamentally corrupt in its methods of expansion. So, how do we do that? How, how do we do that, you may ask? Well, I like to draw. <laughs> and hey, that's a start. Get out there and show the world that the class of 2008 doesn't mess around. We believe in magic. We believe in a thing called love. We believe in fun. And we believe in art, the expression of the dynamic human spirit. So please, join me in clapping for the California College of Arts and Crafts undergraduate class of 2008. <laughs> Benjamin, I'm pleased to call upon Leah Rosenberg representing the graduate students. 